I'm in some pain and I just scared the crap out of all my cats and my husband. What? We have, um, I sent you the link so you can show people what I'm talking about if you want. We have, they're slow feeders for cats. Okay. They're meant for dry food so the cat doesn't eat too much too fast and then vomit. We use them for treats as like mental stimulation. And I have my little, my little makeup table right behind me here where I get ready for the show. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, and I, I got up from doing my makeup and I stepped on that. Uh, just Okay, everybody's all like, well, what should we talk about? Look at this shit! Which is like stepping on several very large Legos all at once. It's they dig it out with their paws. No, we've got one. We have one of those yeah. for, for Loki, only it doesn't have sharp spikes jutting out of it. <laughs> so I stepped on that. Loki's and is a my, little one that's got like bones in it molded into it. It's, and then my knee dislocated. So I fell over, I knocked over the little cat tower behind me, and I screamed bloody murder, obviously. Simba was asleep on the desk. He woke up, eyes all black. Both girls came running, eyes all black. Dan comes running up the stairs. I don't know if his eyes were black or not. They were. <laughs> and I'm just like sitting on the floor like, I'm fine. Everything's fine. With all three cats and Dan looking at me like, Maybe you should get one that doesn't have like I don't know the the it's like the Night. Iron Throne only it's a slow feeder. <laughs> we, we got that one because it was the one Simba had at the shelter, so he's used to it. I mean, he's been home two years now. We could probably transition him to a less dangerous one. Maybe or, you know, not have it right in the center of the office floor would also probably be smart. All good um, ideas. So yeah, I'm already developing bruises on the bottom of my feet, like on the arch. You ever bruise the arch of your foot? Yes. Yeah. It's not great. So for those of you uh, who are watching this on the YouTubes, um, this is the 20th anniversary of Radio Dead Air. Um, <laughs> We've been doing this show in one form or another for 20 years. I started in uh, late July of 2000. That was back when it was audio streaming. Um, and I did that live show audio for about 10 years audio. I think I transitioned to video about late 2009. And uh, then I've been doing video for 10 years. And it's... I... It's... in. It, what have I done? And I think that's around when I joined. Yeah, yeah, about 2010. When you made the jump to video. Yeah. It's been, it's been Ooh, la, la. weird. Ne next year, this show can drink. So, yeah, that's, that's, and it, it, I, I, I used to joke, and I've joked for many years. I would never run out of material for the show. That hum the, the 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 base stupidity of humanity would provide me with job security. And not only has it maintained, it's expanded. They 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 jack humanity up. just keeps getting dumber. Speaking of, just we're going to cover this very briefly before we get to the actual show. Um, I I haven't actually sent you this. I told you about this. Scientists are reviving. 100 million year old microbes from the sea. Why? Why this year? Why do they keep doing this? Do we not have enough night problems this year? It's the black oil. It's the bl black night oil from the X-Files. And when that seeps into your eyeballs and then uses you to gestate an alien and claws its way out, you're going to be fucked. Can, can science... It doesn't matter because we're all going to die. Science needs to night and stop. Yeah. Take a break. Science in 2020, like if you're not working on a malware vaccine, just stop. Just stop. There's just take else. the rest of the year off. Well, what if I start poking around in this ancient Egyptian mummy's grave and... Either work on a vaccine or take the rest of the year off. Let's resurrect okay. dinosaurs. That's a good plan. Nobody's done that they, one before. Didn't they say they think they're going to be able to do that in like two years? <clears throat> Why? Why? 
It's like six movies about why that's a sh- idea. I mean, that is that is the most terrible way to get Jeff Goldblum's autograph. That the, there there are better ways. You could meet him at a comic con or something. I promise. All right, comic con again. If there ever yeah. is, yeah. Okay, it's time to begin the nonsense. Let's start it because we got a fun one to kick off on. And of course, I, I'm pretty sure, is that one Florida? I think that one's Florida. Yep. Can always count on Florida. Each week. Come on. Yeah, I'm on. Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you and um we're kicking off this week with there are some very basic all of us had when we learned to drive we all had to learn certain things you know and it took so, all right to give you a perfect example i did not I, I i was many years old before i knew that your gas gauge if you look next to the little picture of the gas pump there's an arrow and that's the side your gas tank is on I didn't know I that. I only shit. found that out like three years ago. Yeah, that's that's the, the little things you learn about your car. You know, you f- figure out how to fill, refill the uh, the washer fluid. You figure out how to do a jump start. Um, I think all of us though did not need to be told you don't drive with a lit fucking candle. Man's car destroyed after driving with lit candle in Charlotte County. Oh wow. my! And that car is fucked. Yeah, it's f u k t fucked. Um, but yeah, let, let's. Uh, a Murdoch, Florida. A Murdoch, yeah, Murdoch, Florida. A Murdoch driver's car caught fire after the driver left a lit candle in the car. Early County fire crews responded to the uh, Carl er, call early Monday morning. They found the car on fire in a Culver's parking lot. The driver told first responders he was burning a fragrant candle in the car when it tipped over into some papers and started the fire. Couple things. First off, I don't know if you've seen this, but they developed something. It might be a little new to you. It's called a car freshener. Yeah. They make it's, them specifically for that. They even make that. They even make them now where you, I think there's one you could plug into yeah. uh, the light socket and it heats oil, scented oil through the fucking car, like a fucking diffuser and shit. If you like candle scents, Yankee Candle has a whole line of car air fresheners. They have the ones that plug into your vent. They have a whole, there's a, there's a whole world of products specifically for this purpose that do not involve an open flame. That's the first one. The next part of it is tipped into some papers. Why the fuck? Why why don't I just have some oily rags for good measure? You know, I can't judge this one because my car is usually kind of a mess. Like I am 100 before when I used to drive places. I was 100% that bitch that had like three weeks worth of drive through bags in my car. <laughs> and then eventually this poor man would walk by and be like, what's going on with the car? And I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a mess and I have no control over my life. Terrorist part raccoon. I will say one thing that gets stuck in my car that just piles up like crazy receipts. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it is, but just, Fucking receipts. I, I I pull. I bring get my stuff out. I leave them in the car. There's receipts. I'm fucking everywhere. Um. And then I I'm totally the person that leaves the soda in the cup holder until the paper cup gives way, and then I have a cup holder full of Coke. Oh, Tara. And I have to deal with that. Tara. I have had that happen. Or winter. I have had that happen more times than I should really admit. Tara. Because I'm the worst. That yes, I agree. We are in agreement. Also, the, the, the bless your heart moment of this. The driver tried to put out the fire by filling a trash can with water, but by the time he returned to the car, it was in full flames. Yeah, it's, it's too late. 
<laughs> God damn it. Just nobody was hurt, just this fucking idiot. No fire in the car. No. no. <laughs> for, for many reasons, not the least of which is the car is powered by fire. Yeah. It's and powered made entirely out of flammable things. Right. And combustible things. Yep. He tried. That's what makes it go. Car go vroom because gas go boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should work for you should work for Papa Mechanics. There, that's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh god fucking Jesus Christ. Well, it gets worse. We've we've had this is the first one that really popped up on my radar. Of course, we've been hearing about these fucking assholes who are completely all in, in why are you wearing a fucking mask? Why are you wearing a mask? A mask, a mask, a mask? Our neighboring county just had a big old fucking rodeo or some shit yeah. over the weekend. Everybody's rubbing on each other. I'm never going to get to leave my house. I'm never going to get to see Denver. Me ever. either. I can't leave. I just fuck. Well, this yeah, one is a whole other situation. Uh, this one's from Florida and Man arrested after pulling gun during mask argument at a Florida Walmart. And here, here he is. Here's the, here's our special guy. Um, uh, of course he has the American <clears throat> flag made out of guns t-shirt. Of course he does. Yeah. Um, a Florida man faces felony charges. And this is something all of you gun owners really need to hear. After he pulled a gun from his waistband and leveled it at a fellow Walmart shopper. Encounter serves a linchpin in the debate over whether the store owners and officials should require people to cover their faces. All right, fine, fuck it. Vincent Scavetta, 28, was charged with aggravated assault with a firearm and improper exhibition of a firearm, was arrested Wednesday after turning himself in. Um, <laughs> widely circulated video shows Scavetta on July 12th arguing with a man in the electronics department of the Walmart. In the video, Scavetta is seen pulling a gun from his waistband and waving it at the other man. Prompted by reports that the argument was mask-related, the story quickly went viral after sheriff's officials shared surveillance images of Scavetta and asked for help to identify him. Uh, according to the arrest report, Scavetta told investigators, It was pouring rain outside when he arrived at Walmart, and he had to walk outside from one end of the store to the entrance to the other, once inside, Scavetta said he had to take his mask off because it was soaked, making it difficult to breathe and cause his glasses to fog. So, and then I pulled out my gun? What the fuck? How did we get from, you're not wearing your mask, could you please put your mask on to fucking gun? All right, gun owners and non-gun owners, you should know this too. Um... The act of pulling a gun out and pointing it at another human being, loaded or unloaded, real or not, is assault. Yeah. Yeah, look up brandishing. You have committed a felony. Just waving your fucking gun around. That's a felony right there. Begin and end. Like, I'm sorry. This man is, I'm sorry about how obviously desperately insecure this man clearly is with his fucking t-shirt and his whole fucking vibe. But get therapy. <laughs> when Sk when Scavetta reached for the waistband of shorts, Estrada reportedly told him that he didn't care about his gun, moment captured in the viral video, then Scavetta pulled out the gun, pointed it at Estrada and said, I'll kill you. And it's on video. I'll kill you over asking me to not give you the plague. You're going to jail. You're you're fucking going. You're fucking. That's. And the thing, you know what the solution to that problem is? Hmm. Put the mask on when you get indoors. Yeah, don't wear it through the park. If, Why you're, would if you... you're outdoors and you're staying away from people, most places don't really require it unless right. you're in close contact. Yeah. So if it's pouring, Wait, just hold up, just put it in your little pocket. But even that's and then put it on when you get indoors. Even that's bullshit. And we know it's yeah. bullshit. It's it's fucking it I can't breathe. Bullshit. It's the same people as the people that have made up the fake ADA cards. 
well, I have a disability and you can't ask about it. That's not how the ADA works. I just, it's the thing about fucking guns. It's like, I can make you do things with my gun. Yeah, it's called a felony. <laughs> That's, Can you even imagine having to work retail? I'm so glad I'm not in retail anymore. I I could not even begin. Because working retail yeah. sucks warm sick through a short straw on a good day. That's a way Thank of putting you. it. Thank you, Neil Gaiman, for that line. But like now, when people are all fucking amped up and literally looking for someone to abuse about it, and you might get sick, like, no. All right, uh, we have the next one, and I don't even know where to begin the framing on this one. The, it's, I, and this comes from South Carolina. This is Update South Carolina. So this is about two hours away from me, but it's still my state. And um, fucking what? Surveillance video shows Batman burglar robbing church. Wow, it's hard times for Bruce Wayne, huh? <laughs> Let's see if I can get this to reload here so I can show you the video. There we go. Uh, here we go. Here's a here's the dude. Uh, the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office investigating after a man wearing a stolen Batman costume robbed the church at the mill. He stole the costume too. The dark of on the dark night of Friday, July twenty fourth. Uh, really, on the dark. <laughs> Security camera footage obtained by 7 News shows the Batman burglar entering the church's there he is entering the church administration building after breaking into the office. Criminal then entered a youth pastor's office only to emerge dressed as Batman. Um Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office said in the report, the mass band has sold multiple computer monitors, a computer, personal electronics and audio equipment. Um church thinks total stolen value uh, um, when pastor said the Cape criminal even stole limited edition Cokes from the office. Deputies say they found an empty Coke can in an office during their invest. Ew! Okay, don't drink. Think about it. I don't even understand the vintage Coke thing. All right, fine. You want to keep the can, whatever. Don't drink those. Mm -mm. Those are, those are, those are done. Don't, don't fucking, those are done. So the Snyder Cut's not really that exciting after all. <laughs> oh my fucking... Going this... for like a low budget indie vibe on the Snyder Cut, I guess? He stole the... Not only did he steal all the fucking electronics, he stole the Batman costume from a youth pastor. <laughs> and a Coke. <laughs> and, and, well, and a bunch of monitors and computers and shit, but... The, the limited edition Cokes, how stupid do you have to be to see a Coke displayed on a shelf and go, I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah. This this is how I'm going to drink me this. Hey, this came out in the same year I was born. What the fuck? I mean, you maybe it was, they were out like... Maybe it was just like last year they did the orange vanilla and the guy still had some in the fridge. That's what I'm choosing to believe. That's just a, uh, limited edition Cokes. This is a whole thing, especially those like the bear cans know, and the, the Santa cans and the Olympic cans. and Like I'm not going to judge anybody for what they collect. Like eh. whatever, whatever makes you happy. That's none of my fucking business. But I don't get it. The other part of collecting foodstuffs. The other part of this is you put on the mask before the crime. You don't end. Cared who he was until he put on the mask. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even put it this: this is the only time in in our history, in our recent history, where walking around with a mask is not suspicious. Right. You could have concealed your identity and no one would have even oh like, oh, how are you doing? He's protecting me. No one would He's have just a responsible citizen. Right. <clears throat> but no. Now his fucking face is on the fucking camera and they're they're gonna find him. Anyone with information about the break in is asked to contact the sheriff. They're gonna find you. You but at least he got a sweet Batman costume. <laughs> a church of all the places to fucking rob. <laughs> 
Come it. on. Whenever I used to go to church with my family, I would, there's a point where you're supposed to go up for communion. And I don't anymore when I go to family events because I'm a divorced heathen and I'm not worthy of all that stuff. But when I used to go, I would leave my purse in the pew and my whole family would be like, Tara, take your purse. What are you doing? And I'm like, it's if, church. I can't, if I can't trust people not to steal my purse here, mm. what are we doing here? And they were all like, oh. Well, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> Unholy like, terror. Oh, that's 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 horrible. It's a, it's, a, it's a Batman thing. Loki, what are you doing? Loki's being a butthole. Um. Well, I'm jealous. There, there's a there's a new fur kid. Well, last week we had a moment where a guy stole a bunch of money from the uh, the fund for for businesses during the pandemic. Yeah. Um and we're like, how the hell did that happen? Well, guess what? It happened again. The fuck? Florida man buys Lamborghini with three point nine million from federal loan. At what point do we just decide Florida was a mistake? <laughs> About Wait, now. What's, what's it give what, Bugs Bunny a right? Like, song. what's it gonna take before we just do the Bugs Bunny gif and float it out into the sea? A South Florida man fraudulently obtained $3.9 million in federal relief loans, using some of the money to buy a $318,000 Lamborghini. David T. Hines, 29, of Miami, was arrested and charged last week with bank fraud, making false statements uh, and to a financial institution, and engaging in transactions in unlawful proceeds. Defense attorney uh, Chad Piotrowski? Piotrowski. Uh, said Heinz is a legitimate business owner who is anxious to tell his side of the story. Mm-hmm. If he was a legitimate business owner who needed that money to keep his business afloat, he wouldn't have bought a fucking Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. Heinz applied to the bank for approximately 13.5 in Paycheck Protection Program loans on behalf of different companies. Fraudulent loan applications were submitted about the company's respective payroll expenses, Hines was approved for $3.9 million. Hines bought the Lamborghini within days of receiving the money. Instead of using the money for payroll payments, Hines made purchases at luxury retailers and resorts in Miami. Authorities seized the car at about $3.4 million when Hines was arrested. I, how did he think this... Okay, first of all, if they hand you a check for $3.9 million, run. At least have the decency to leave the fucking country. Fucking run. Fucking figure. Go to Wikipedia, pick a place that doesn't have extradition, and fucking run. Have you ever gotten like extra money somehow and just fucking panicked? Yeah. When I left my last retail job, like a month after I left, my last paycheck had like an extra $2,000 in it. And I did not make that kind of money for Hawking eyeglasses. And I fucking panicked because I'm like, how do I return it? How do I prove I didn't steal it? They're definitely going to sue me and ruin my life. And I called my manager to be like, look, something terrible happened. I don't know what to do. And she was like, oh, no, you were one of the top 15 sellers in the company. You got a bonus. (laughs) And I'm like, why didn't any? She's like, well, we wanted it to be a surprise. And I'm like, do you understand that I'm having a heart attack? Because I know that this corporation will burn my life down over a dollar. Yeah, any corporation will. Um, You get that extra money and you're just like, oh God, this is the end of me. Fucking 3.9 million and you stay your ass in the same place where you, no, you fucking leave. And you stay in fucking Florida. Right, in Miami. You could have been anywhere. There are lots of really cool places that don't extradite to the U.S. Lots yeah. of them. And why? aren't Florida. So you're not even, why, why this pisses me off is you're not even making law enforcement work for it. Mm-mm. And they need to. They need to get off their goddamn asses and actually do a job instead of just, you know, shooting people. Yeah. You, you just handed it to them. I, I am ashamed of you. I, it's You went out the next day and bought a fucking Lambo in cash. Yeah, that's that's. Did you a, never see Goodfellas? 
Don't start spending the fucking heist money. Which is amazing. Look at this guy. This guy, he's 29 years old. I thought that was required viewing. I thought when right? you were... When, Especially for fucking douchebags. And he's definitely a fucking douchebag. Look at him. I mean, I thought every dude in the last two decades, when they turned 13, they were given a copy of Penthouse Don't and, they like, when, and, and yeah, Goodfellas. You when know? they separate the girls and the boys in health class, right? You're supposed they to show watch you Goodfellas and give you the poster, right? <laughs> it's just so, I mean, th to be able to get this much money and then to just be like, "Done, I've done all the work for today," and to have your fucking lawyer be like, "No, no, he's a good guy." <laughs> he is anxious to tell his side of the story. Yeah, that's why people don't like lawyers. I'm excited to hear his side of the story. Uh, well, remember last week when the dude got pissed off and cut the fucking garage in half over a property line dispute? And that was amazing. Somebody up the fucking ante. Oh, no. Thieves steal entire building in broad daylight. How? Police say the 33-foot long wooden hut was removed piece by piece by two men over a six-hour period and loaded into a white van. The thieves made numerous trips to the site. They continued to dismantle the hut despite being challenged by staff. In an appeal for information, the force said, The incident was reported to us once it was established the men did not have the authority to remove the building, which is a valuable resource for the sports center as well as the local community. Because this is England, like, can you see this being the most polite dispute ever? Like, excuse, excuse me, I don't think you're allowed. I don't mean to be a bother. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. But I'm not sure you're actually allowed to take the building. <laughs> I love how they just kept taking it apart, making multiple trips. <laughs> the fucking audacity. <laughs> like, why? Is there a motive? I know. Why did you decide, hey, we're going to steal a building of all the things you could have stolen? Did you have what an expe express what are you need do tonight, brain? We're going to steal a fucking building, Pinky. It's like a it's like a really elaborate shed is what they stole. Yeah. I'm, what the fuck? Don't understand. I, I will say, um, I read uh, Dresden Files. Uh, Jim Butcher. I read that, that. And the main character, Harry Dresden, has a philosophy, and it actually makes sense. If you're somewhere you're not supposed to be, but you make an effort to look like you belong there, most people will just leave you the fuck alone. Yeah. If you just look like you belong, people will accept it. If, if, if My you're... question is, like, it couldn't be that you wanted a hut, because... You had to dismantle this hut, and then you have to bring it wherever you want it and rebuild it. And you could have done half the work and had a hut. <laughs> so it couldn't be just that you wanted one. It's it it just like, I don't understand. <laughs> of all the crimes, you had a plethora of crimes. Yeah. Uh, just untold numbers. Some of them aren't even all that repulsive, you know? <laughs> I mean, I admire the fucking moxie. You could steal street signs. That's actually kind of coolish, you know. You go to any, fucking any fucking college dorm room is full with fucking stolen yeah, street signs. Yeah, I was going to say, it's cool when you're 18. But yeah, I mean, if you're going to steal, you know. I mean, fucking, but a whole damn house. A building. A fucking shit. I uh. mean, like I said, points for Moxie. I mean, the house is a real steal. <laughs> Vegemorph, no, no, no. My brother stole a road construction sign and used it as a rug. As a what? A rug. I. It, what? John, Do you know I don't understand that is? one, John. They not only brought the house down, they loaded it in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Fire Gang of Lilla Taco, yeah, that's funny. Um, the fuck? I, I, I need more information. This oh. journalist really fell down on the job because I don't have a motive. 
I don't know what became of the hut. Like, I'm very disappointed in the BBC. Well, finally this week, we have probably the most 2020 story of 2020 that we've covered on our show. Um, I'm going to say this is, this is, we, I've almost been waiting for this. This was coming. This, this is, check this. This is your anniversary present? Well, check this out. It's like apocalypse bingo. I was waiting for this one. (laughs) (sighs) Baboons carrying knives and chainsaws spotted in Safari Park. (laughs) No. (laughs) Baboons. (laughs) <laughs> Baboons at a popular safari park have been spotted with knives, screwdrivers, and even a chainsaw. The primates at Nosley Safari Park in Maryside, uh, Merseyside have already uh, known for their destructive abilities been pictured previously pulling things off visitors' cars. Yeah, have a, have a look there. At the That's what they do when you drive through. They fuck your car up. But mm-hmm. people keep driving through there. Why is that a feature? But now, why, why is that an attraction? <laughs> but now, some staff are concerned the baboons are being given weapons for a laugh by park goers. One work, <laughs> one worker told the newspaper, "We're not sure if they're being given weapons by some of the guests who want to see them attack cars, or if they're fishing them out of pickup trucks and vans." Worker said the animal sometimes goes into people's toolbox to grab what they can, including. One of the baboons was seen lugging around a chainsaw. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about ready to say, you know what? It's your turn. Take it. Yeah. Wait, I mean, we... you know what? Clearly, we're a fucking mistake of a species. Can the baboons do worse? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just... <laughs> Baboon with a chainsaw kind of sounds like the logical progression of Quentin Tarantino's career. (laughs) (laughs) Give it 10 years, that's going to be a movie with a 70s soundtrack. uh, I just, this fucking, this just... I don't even understand why you would drive through the attack baboon park. Right, it's like, apparently this, uh, this, people do this, it entertains them. To have their car attacked by like baboons. They're throwing this woman's clothes all over the fucking street. This is, I mean, how far be it for, for me to, you know, do like class warfare and, and you know, the, 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 uh, the aristocrats, but to be amused to drive a vehicle through a park and have it attacked by baboons. That's, yeah. a, that's some let them, that's some let them eat cake kind of bullshit right there. That's weird. This definitely, like, you know, it, you know, in the second Hunger Games book, <laughs> when they get to the wedge of the arena with the attack monkeys, even they, even those sadistic fuckers in the Capitol didn't think to give them chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> and even they can... fucking Coraline of Snow didn't give the monkeys chainsaws. There's a chance they could figure out how to work that shit. I will tell you, they make, it's not because monkeys are like super smart or anything. They are, they're fairly intelligent, but they make chainsaws easier and easier, especially if it's an electric one. Yeah. It used to be the only way you get a chainsaw was when, you know, gas powered. Now they've got these big lithium ion batteries just slap. They have like a whole system at Home Depot of, 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 of isn't that, that's what you have. Mm-hmm tools with interchangeable batteries and one of them is like hedge trimmers and chainsaws you just slap in a battery you don't even have to crank it you just turn it on or off the fucking baboon could figure that shit out (laughs) and then you just have to wait for the battery to die which those last a good long time it's in the advertising how many people will die before the battery dies that's that could actually be a great advertisement for home depot It's a little dark. How many people can this monkey kill before the battery dies? Let's find out. It's a really really dark reboot of the Gorilla Samsonite commercial. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, but this is the apocalypse, Terry. You have to to realize. 
The first thing we've learned this week is, oh my god, don't bring the, don't, don't tithe weaponry to monkeys. Please don't arm the monkeys. <laughs> Fucking arm the monkeys. Are you out? We have enough to deal with right now. We have enough problems. <laughs> Of all the fucking shit going on, you're dumbass giving chainsaws to baboons. What the fuck? We already have a global pandemic. We're on the verge of a race war. Fascism is quietly creeping across the globe. We don't need Planet of the Apes, too. Uh, <clears throat> learned... Maybe we do. Maybe that's the best for all of us. I don't know. We've learned... I... We've learned that people will actually steal a building. We don't know why. What would that actually fall under as a crime? What do you charge someone with? I don't know. Is there a statute for fucking stealing a building? Brand larceny? Category um, other? We've learned if, uh, if you manage to get the cash, I'll take the money and run. Um, get the fuck out. Don't just hang out. And buy a fucking Lamborghini. I ten dollars says that Lamborghini. Get outside your double wide trailer. Ten ten bucks says that Lamborghini plays La Cucaracha when you hit put when you hit the horn. <laughs> See, but that would be cool, and I don't think that guy is that cool. Um, Probably play some fucking pitbull song. We've learned put on the mask before the crime, not during. Yes, Loki. Oh, he's being a butthead because people aren't jumping up to feed him right now immediately. Nobody loves him. It's very sad. Um, We've learned that a gun is not a remote control for life. And here's the difference. When you point a remote control at a TV, it's not a felony. Nobody other ever people, got arrested. Like, I know we have viewers in other countries and they just much watch all the gun stories and be like, why does anybody fucking live in America? We're and, not sure either. And finally this week we learned, um, don't put fire in the thing full of fire. Made of plastic. Yeah, most cars these days are like, they've got like plastic shell on the outside. That's... Air fresheners, they're a thing. Air fuck who's fucking got the fucking goddamn fragrance candle in their fucking car? What? That's a new noise. Oh, that's Loki on the, the hardwood. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. just... I don't care how gross your car is. You don't need a scented candle in there. You might just need it detailed.